So hello everyone, welcome to Iconic Park, home of the Blues. What about you? I disagree. I'm going with the Pies. Oh my God, hang on a minute. Relevant Banner, they're facing Carlton. Relevant Banner, you would not read about it. All right, here we go. Should be a beauty according to Hutto. Wouldn't put your job on it. Already, they are out. Punch! Okay. Oh, for the love of... Jamie Elliott, lining up. The first of the game, he does so successfully. And doesn't he celebrate hard? Brownlow medalist Mark Pitnett in the ruck. Gets the handball away. Get that. Zach Fisher in the forward line. Is that, is that relatively normal. Anyway, he lines up and puts it all low. And <laughs> no one on the goal line, so it goes through. Oh, we're clipping through here. That's okay. Sard, he was run down from behind. Handball, missed a target. Good tackle. Pies got man everywhere. Darcy Cameron snaps goals. Two to the Pies. One of the Blues. Two and a half. Still to play. Opening turn. TDK now on. And he's in the ruck. And he's been beaten straight away. Penderbury wins the handball out of there. Good tackle. That should have been a throw. Umpire, I'm not going to lie. Punch it. I don't play AFL Fantasy. It's too much effort for me. Punch. Oh, yes. Newman doesn't know what he's doing. Get rid of the pill. All up. No. Well, look. No, oh, mate, this is elite ball movement and I've messed it up with too many handballs. Punch! Oh, that was good. Oh, you're going to have to tackle him. That is a ripping tackle. How has that gone through? It's a floater. Four to the pies in the first. Come on, Crips. Oh, Harry! Oh. oh, the big man. Has that gone through? It has. Jeez, it's just a shootout at the moment. The big, the pit, while getting tackled. That's a hip drop level tackle. Uh, I will be doing the career mode on Steam. Because if I go overseas and I want to keep playing it, then I'll have to have my laptop. I will not be taking my PlayStation overseas. Jack Martin. Well, it didn't have the distance, but it's gone through. Because no one on the goal line. Again, positional issue. Ruckman or someone should be on the goal line at all times. Pendlebury, Fisher in the race. Gets the big tackle on. Oh, I've run out of men. Intercept mark that. Surely someone. Oh, no. Punch! No, he couldn't get there. Oh, and it's a throw-in. Oh. oh, disastrous bug. Oh, yeah, that's a goal. That's a goal. Another bug. Clip it, send it. Punch. No, oh, that's it. Five straight to three straight. Amy Elliott happy there. Seems like the pack of players has disappeared around him because there's no one else inside the forward 50. So Coning out of the middle, Pender already got the handball away and he's taken down straight away. And here come the Blues. One last chance. Mark it, Harry, you goose. Oh my God, you have one job and it's contested marks and I've missed. I have missed. Was it Eduardo Kerno? Oh, it's Zach Fisher. On the non-preferred, what are you doing? Oh, I mean, I'm an idiot for many reasons. Harry's just lurking in the goal square here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he just did not give a shit. And that's quarter time. It's 3 one the Blues, five straight, the Pies. 11-point Collingwood lead at quarter time. Together like that. All right, here we go. Come on.
to Conning back in the ruck. Not sure why they didn't reset to the standard ruckman after the quarter time break. Here we go. Get him in the contest, you little goose, Jack Martin. Come on, you better than that. Now the pies are away. Run hard defensively. Oh, he's not looking at that ball. You're going to have to get up and tackle again here. Because they're out. Lipinski, I think it is. Hewitt Chase. He won the ball. No, we're just going to lock this in here. We don't want to... We don't need a spillage. Out. Oh, no. Punch. Oh, I panicked. This is uh, Danny McStay kicking the sixth straight goal for the Pies. Extend the lead to a game high. 17 points, I believe. And again, Darcy Cameron's still in the ruck as well as uh, De Koning. Oh, we're out here. Zach Williams should should get this. The Pirates player is just not running hard enough after this footy. Missed tackle. Oh, good step, Cripps. That wasn't even an evade. That was just genius. Pitting it forward of the footy here. Should mark this. He does. He doesn't quite have the skills to kick it this far, but we'll see. He's a ruckman. And it's just Ben to the left-hand side. It's just uh, any cricket content, not until the new game, which we're not sure when that's going to come out, but the Ashes are only like three or four weeks away. Oh, give the handball, son. We're still going backwards. No idea what we're doing with the pill. Hewitt just goes inside the forward 50, pitting it out the front. Oh, I couldn't mark it. And Darcy Cameron gets a clearance, and the Pies are away in numbers. Akers runs him down. And he sends a torp long, and I've got... It's three on one. If I don't mark it, it would have been an embarrassment from a Carlton point of view. Tell you what. Harry Mackay. Oh, don't tell me he's missed it. He's got it, Harry. He's got it. 4 2 26. The Blues trail the Pies by 10 points. Six straight 36. You Blues fans pretty happy out there. Needs more realism. They need to be having... They need cans in their hands for added realism. And Cripps gets through the tackle somewhat. Handball gets astray. They're out over the back here. Oh, you've gone to, to bounce the footy. That's holding the pill if I'm concerned. Oh, De Koning, good clearance. Side bottom is there as is Walsh. Tried to go off the deck. Didn't get near it. Ball goes forward. Kennedy's in the contest. Gets the fist away. Can't tell who's there for the Pies. Little chip out of there. Should be marked. Not. It's intercepted. Big handball over the top. And the Blues have numbers inside the forward 50. And he's kicked it on the full. Oh, you goose. There was 12 seconds left in the half. Oh, and there's not many choices here. But that has definitely really stung late in the term. It's half time. And it is a 10-point Collingwood lead. 4-2, 26, the Blues. Six straight the Pies. And a, a goal apiece in the second term. Uh, it's not a not a completely lost game at this stage. Clearances even, contested possessions even. The fact that I've managed more than two spoils, I think, is a, a great win. Uh, and the uncontested marks fairly even. Where's the contested marks? 8-1. So, again, they're not killing us. They are still winning it more in the air. But I guess I'm doing a little bit better than I have been previously. Look at the leading ball winner on the ground. It is Josh Dacos. He, Pendlebury, have had eight touches each. Sam Mosh with six. Cripps with five. Hewitt with four for the Blues. Elliot there's also had six. What about the goals? Who's kicked some goals? Elliot has a couple. Pendlebury, side bottom. McStay and Cameron want a piece. Fisher, Pitnett, Martin and McKay. I know what you're saying. But it's very difficult. I try to do it when it hits, the, when it does the vibration. It's very confusing. Anyway, second half. De Conning's still in the ruck. Pitnet clearly is now just playing forward as permanently for the Blues as they get a few handballs out of there. This is Hewitt. He's got time and space from 50. Can he settle? Fisher gets to the front of the, the contest and he should have marked it. I, I don't understand why he did not mark it uh, because clearly he literally had been uncontested at the front of the pack and then it's just, yep, yeah, Maynard's got over the top and through it. Okay. Surely we score from this stoppage. De Koning doesn't win it down. It's the Pies. A couple of quick handballs. Intercepted there from the pit. And he's missed a lot. Brownlow medalist, the pit. Had no idea what he was doing there. Oh, De Koning. Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. Oh, geez. They're on. They're on. Get him. Get him as well. Pick it up. Oh, it's intercepted. Go, De Koning. Oh, the soccering is just dreadful, isn't it? 
Cripps with a good tackle. Pitnet with a good tackle. The Pikes have still got this out of there. Bang! This man ran through everyone. It was Doherty. We'll get a ball up. Still no scores in the second half. Akers, has he hit a target? You wouldn't think so. That's just typical of Blake Akers. Handball, we were out. We were out if you got the handball over there. You wish you could be a reporter for dissent. You used to be able to get tech foul in the NBA games if you yelled through your mic in your controller. Not sure if that's still a thing. Punch! Oh, I thought I got that. Oh, and I, I, I've let, yeah, that's on me because I've left my man to do that. So, that is, that's what happens when you leave your man to impact the contest and you don't impact the contest. That is just reward for my own stupidity. Nick Dacos on the ground. Doesn't mean anything at the moment. That's a snap out of the pack. Going to go to no one. Hope it sits up for me. Not out of bounds. Oh, Fisher had plenty of time to think about it. Get another ball up. So he's not on this any, any of these particular teams. There's Cripps. There's an option short. If he can get it over the top, you've got the front posse. Oh. Akers, you cannot possibly for the life of yourself miss. And Harry's come through the pack on the lead. That was actually an elite bit of forward craft from Big H as he snaps it through. Punch. TDK gets it down. Oh, he was taken immediately in a tackle. And another one. Bang. Geez, the Pies are just putting the pressure on me, aren't they? They're just really ripping into me in some of these big tackles. Oh, snap it through. Oh, it didn't carry to anyone. And the Pies are away through the middle of the round. Shero with a rundown chase. You can mark that. And you can send it long, Doherty, from inside the center square. Doherty's kicked the ball. Doherty's kicked the ball. Out of bounds. Okay. Still a 10-point Collingwood lead. The same margin it was at the half-time break. And that's what it'll be at three-quarter time. 5-2, 32 the Blues. 7 straight, 42 the Pies. It, it's a 10-point game. It is very winnable. But can we win it from here? Who the bloody hell knows? Out of the middle, Darcy Cameron to Pendlebury. He was taken down almost immediately. This man didn't know what he was doing, but he sent it inside 50 mixed days. Just gonna mark that shit isn't he? all the time. A miss here would be delightful. That he's 50 out directly in front. Dan McStay is really going to kick it from about 45 out. No problems at all there. It sneaks in with a bit of left to right bend. And it's a 16-point lead. Going to make it tricky for the Blues. They're going to need to get a bit of a roll on here to come back into this one. Come on, Carl. Need a clearance. Need a clearance. Cameron gets it down. It's straight to Sam Walsh. He was taken down immediately in a tackle. Cameron again with a handball out of there. Two said, not Mitchell. Tom, yeah, it was Mitchell. It was just the Tom variety. The Blues now through the middle. Come on, Charlie. you got to mark that. Charlie Kerno, you have one job, and it's marked the body. I mean, he has to kick goals as well. And I can't move with Blake Akers here. I cannot move back defensively. I cannot run back defensively with anyone with any capability whatsoever there. And that's a uh, disappointing result. 1,500 for attacking. Unacceptable. Will so. No, oh, that's a goal. And that'll seal the game for the buys, you would think. Nine straight, 54, 5, 2, 32, the Blues. Side bottom just got that out of the pack and uh, no one got near him. Which is, again, half the problem. You, you just don't feel defensively like you've got any opportunity to do anything. Get the clear and send it forward. Take the mark. He has Jack Silvani. We're going to need four goals in quick fire time here. So they can't afford to mess around with it, the Blues. He's put it through. There's going to need to be some, some magic worked here from me, I reckon. Out of the middle, that was Cameron. Pendlebury picked it up again. Tried to get the handball away. It was intercepted by the Blues. Can they run inside 50 and kick the goal? Can they run inside 50 and kick the goal? Fisher has put it through! Here we go! That's two in about 20 seconds. Get fired up! There's still time! It's a 10-point ball game with two minutes on the clock. Another clearance coming up here. Oh, he's got away with it. Handball worked. You've got one more if you can get it out there. Oh, you can't. Just keeping themselves just in it. De Koning got it down. Handball to Hewitt. Little ball short. No one's going to mark that. Oh, good tackle. And smother. And Hewitt again. He's kicked another. 
That other for the Blues. It's a four-point game. It's a four-point game. Oh, this is remarkable. We've come from bloody nowhere to be in it. It's just win the clearance. Score the goal. De Koning. Cameron. Cameron wins it down. Kennedy again gets the clearance for the Blues. It goes forward. Who can get to it first? Oh, it's Silvani. Does he want to risk it all? Oh, he's got short options. Oh, that's a bullet. It's a Charlie. It's a Charlie. No, it's Akers. Oh, God. Blake Akers to give the Blues the lead in the last quarter. He's kicked it. He has kicked it. Oh, it's a two-point ball game. The Blues have hit the front. The Blues have hit the front. Hitting it back onto the ground, finally. Cameron gets it out of there. Kennedy again, doesn't get the clearance. And here come the pies. Oh, handball over the top. Owies, oh, wowies, short ball. Why have you played on? Oh, disaster. Walsh, Walsh. He's kicked another one. He's kicked another one. Oh, Walsh on the left. He just threw it on the shoe. And he snuck it in. Oh, Pitnet has come into the middle at the right time. Oh, Penderbury gets the handball away. And the pies inside 450. McStay. Oh, he's got it. And he's played on immediately. They didn't want to waste any time. Elliot puts it through. And they're still in at Collingwood. Oh, my goodness. 10 2 62. 10 straight 60. Game still on. 37 seconds left. Anything can happen here. Weedering off. You don't want that. Nobody wants that. And the pies go inside 50. McStay again. Oh my God. And he goes short. And he finds McCreary. Oh. This to give them the lead. Oh, he's kicked it. <laughs> he's kicked it. There's 12 seconds left. <laughs> oh, and he's going off. He's going off. Oh, anything can happen here. You need a clearance and a mark. Oh, no. Oh, it's a turnover. Mark this. Oh, come on, Harry. Surely, Harry. Oh, four seconds. Run through the pack. Run through the pack. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, it was so close, I was there. Oh, look at the devastation on the pit's face. Brownlow medalist, the pit's devastated. Oh, Collingwood, you can't, the boys do it again. The boys do it again. Oh my goodness. That, that felt better than the last game. I think spoiling, let's have a look here. I've had seven spoils compared to the two from the previous update. So spoiling felt better. It Like when McStay had those contested marks late though, I didn't feel like I was in the con the mark contest at all. I felt like my timing, timing for the spoiling felt off. The fact that I don't defend because there's 12 inside 50s for 11 goals. It's also an issue still. Um, tackling's all right. Again, like clearances just feel silly. Like, cause you literally tap it down to the dude who then doesn't get tackled. Or he either gets tackled or he doesn't get tackled by the dude who's standing next to him for like four seconds. So he does get the kick away. Uh, not a lot of free kicks paid, lots of spillages. Like there were more, there were more spills in the pack. It's like it was better. Not perfect, but better. And again, like just positioning around stoppages, you feel like it just doesn't, sometimes it just doesn't work for you. You know, like it just, it just feels like, I know it feels like it's such a terrible way to describe things, but it, it seems as though players are not understanding where they should be and they're just not defending. 